Welcome to my meditation series on meditation, neuroplasticity and neuroscience. So today we're going to talk about what meditation does to your brain waves. Your bustling brain is a continuous source of electrical activity and it makes sense. Neurons communicate with each other through electrical and chemical signals. Brain waves convey information through a rate of repetition, which are called oscillations, and they're so powerful it can be detected through an EEG machine. The essential to know is that we have five basic types of brain waves at different frequencies, slow to fast. They correspond to Greek letters, delta, theta, alpha, beta, and gamma. The interesting thing to be aware of is that meditation allows you to manipulate the frequency of your brain waves. And this is a really good thing, and I'll tell you why. First up, we need to understand the five main types of frequencies. So let's meet them. Gamma brainwaves. Gamma brainwaves are the fastest of the brainwaves, and they relate to simultaneous processing of information from different brain areas. Because it's the most subtle of the brainwave frequencies, the mind has to be quiet to access gamma. Gamma is highly active when in states of universal love, altruism, and the higher virtues such as expanded consciousness and spiritual emergence. Beta brainwaves. So beta or beta brainwaves dominate our normal waking state of consciousness when attention is directed towards cognitive thinking tasks and the outside world. Beta is a fast activity present when we're alert, attentive, engaged in problem solving, judgment, decision making, or focused mental activity. Basically thinking. Beta brainwaves can be further divided into three categories. Low beta, mid beta, and high beta. Low beta brainwaves can be thought of as when we're idle or musing. Mid beta brainwaves is high engagement or actively thinking or figuring something out. And high beta is high complex thought, integrating new experiences, excitement, or more negatively, higher anxiety, anger, pain, suffering, frustration, exhaustion, and fear, to name a few. Sustained high beta frequency processing is not a very efficient way to run the brain long term because it uses up so much energy. And in fact, it does send the brain into disorder. Next up are alpha brainwaves. So alpha brainwaves are dominant during quietly flowing thoughts and in some meditative states. So alpha happens when you live and think in the now, being here in the present, not thinking of your past or your future. It is purely in the now. So when you're in that space, you're in an alpha state. It is the doorway between conscious and the subconscious. So alpha is the resting state for the brain. And how can we access this resting state more? You've got it, meditation. Alpha brainwaves also help overall mental coordination, calmness, alertness, mind-body integration, and learning. Now, what if you go into deep meditation? Not just your average meditation, but really deep. So it's there that you'll access something called theta brainwaves, which is into the subconscious. Theta is our gateway to learning, memory, and intuition, so that gut instinct of ours. Because it is our subconscious, it's also where we hold all of our stuff, our fears, our life history, our anxieties, our traumas, our nightmares. In theta, or theta, you are no longer your body, you are no longer at the mercy of your environment, and you actually lose track of time. Next state is delta brainwaves. Delta brainwaves are very slow brainwaves, generated in the deepest of meditations and when you have a deep, dreamless sleep. This is also where the body restores itself. Delta waves suspend external awareness and are the source of empathy, healing and regeneration. And that is precisely why a deep sleep is so essential to the healing process. Beauty sleep is a saying for a reason. Can you now see how there is a definite neuroscience behind meditation? It's not just a pipe dream, there's an actual science to it. So by practicing meditation, it actually gives you greater access to different processes and functions within your body. In summary, as you meditate and turn attention within yourself, alpha and theta waves increase. This is a good thing because it allows your body and mind to rest, restore and repair at your will. This is particularly important in the modern fast paced world we're living in, but also when looking into access to improved mental and physical health. I hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more videos from me and I'll see you next time.